We are delighted to once again be collaborating with the UCLA Film and Television Archive for the annual UCLA Celebration of Iranian Cinema. This is a film series that the UCLA Archive has been presenting for over 30 years now and Farhang Foundation is proud to be the sole sponsor of this program. Uh, we applaud the Archive for their dedication to celebrating the best in Iranian films uh, every year and uh, this year we had the pleasure of opening the series with the premiere of The Voice of Dust and Ash, uh, the new documentary by Mandana Biscotti about the great master Mohammad Reza. هر آزادی که انسان میخواد داشته باشه این تو امریکت من مطلق وجود نداره میترسن از این که به حال میگن که این زبان مردم و کنسیت که خاصه باشه تو مردم جمع میشن حالا باز این تازه میشه این موضوع ها این که میخوان به اصطلاح خودتون فراموش بشه close the series uh, with uh, the premiere of Leila's brother starring uh, Tarane Ali Dusti, Peyman Moadi and Navid Mohammad Zadeh. Uh, we are delighted to have three weekends of incredible Iranian films and this year we are especially happy to screen all six finalist from the Farhang Foundation Short Film Festival. As many know, last September we were not able to hold our annual Farhang Short Film Festival award ceremony. Uh, we had to cancel the program in respect for uh, the murder of Mahsa Amini and the Women Life Freedom Movement. So the filmmakers from the festival didn't get their due uh, recognition and we're so delighted that the archive chose to screen all six films and we were able to award the top three prizes at the, during this celebration. And tonight, um, I, as we're gathered here together, uh, I have the distinct pleasure of officially announcing uh, the first place winner of the 22 Farhang Foundation Short Film Festival. The film Kuse, A Man Who Can't Grow a Beard, by director Behzad Azadi. This is Behzad Azadi's second win. He previously won the second prize in 2018 and for his incredible film, Temporary. Uh, this prize includes a $10,000 cash reward uh, which goes to the film's filmmaker. Obviously, Behzad couldn't be here with us tonight. خیلی خوشحالم و مفتخرم که برای دومین بار از این جشنواره جایزه میگیرم و امسال خوش شانس بودم که از بین فیلم های خیلی خوبی که تو بخش مسابقه بودن جایزه اول رو بگیرم خیلی تشکر میکنم از حیات داوران که من و تیم فیلم سازیم رو لایق این جایزه دونستم دوست دارم که این جایزه رو از طرف خودم و گروه فیلمسازیم به محسا امینی تقدیم بکنم زنی که به خاطر فشارهای جنسیتی در ایران جونش رو از دست داد و مطمئنم که ادامه راه محسا و جنبش زن زندگی آزادی در ایران ایران آزادی رو برای زنان ایرانی چه در ایران و چه در خارج از ایران خواهد ساخت و امیدوارم که با حرکت زن زندگی آزادی و جنبش زن زندگی آزادی ایران آزادی رو داشته باشیم که بتونم حداقل توی ایران از نزدیک شما رو ببینم Tonight I have the honor of officially announcing the second place winner and the cash prize of $5000 which goes to the film 113 by director Neda Asif from Tehran سلام عرض می کنم خدمت تمام عزیزان و تشکر ویژه دارم از هیئت داوران بابت اهدای این جایزه ارزنده برای فیلم 113 که بسیار بسیار برای من ارزشمنده و تمام عزیزان و دوستانی که در این فیلم همراه من بودند
با آرزوی پیروزی و درخشش برای تمام زنان میهنم ایران Tonight I have the honor of officially announcing the third and final award of the festival competition and the cash prize of $3,000, which is awarded to the film White Winged Horse by director Mahyar Mondegar. I'm also very happy to announce that we're lucky enough to have Mahyar John here with us in person tonight to come and accept his award. We're so, it's such a rare thing because usually the filmmakers are in Iran, but we're very lucky that he's here with us tonight. So this is his uh, plaque, the winning film. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Uh, it's an honor, first of all, getting the award here and being here is more than amazing. I don't know if I'm going to give it to you. I don't know if I'm going to give it to you. I don't know if I'm going to give it to you. What do you want to give it to you? I don't want to give it to you. I don't want to give it to you. Then when they want to give it to you, what do you want? اول از همه تشکر کنم از بنیاد فرهنگ و اینکه خیلی خوشحالم که اینجا بودم و تونستم بیام هم فیلم ها رو ببینم هم اینکه جایزه سوم جشنواره بهم تعلق گرفت که خیلی سه خوبیه ممنون از هیئت برگزاری و داورا که لایق تونستم فیلم ها رو قطعا خیلی کاری که بنیاد فرهنگ میکنه مخصوصا حالا من در خصوص سینماشو بیشتر در جریان هستم خیلی کمک کننده است خیلی فیلم های مثلا فیلم های روز که دارن اکرام میشن مثلا از من که حالا دور بودم از خونه نمیتونستم ببینم خیلی اتفاق خوبی بودش Well, this year, as, as every year, we're always very, um, always looking for the best films, uh, the best Iranian films, contemporary and classic. And I think we achieved that again this year with a really fantastic lineup of a lot of diverse kind of films. Um, one of the things we were very focused on this year were current events happening in Iran. We felt we always have to sort of pay attention to what's happening in, in the world when we're putting an international program together. But this year felt we needed to say something explicit directly about what was occurring in the country through the film selections um, and uh, through the message that we were sending. And we're really happy about the shorts film program that Roy Arastegar put together, sort of highlighting the role of the filmmaker during times of change and protest. Um, and I think the audience really responded so well to that, that the, the selection of films that Roy put together. But overall, all of the films and the feature films speak in some way to, uh, or are responding in some way to current conditions in Iran and are addressing it through, you know, the artist's vision. We're also, once again, just so honored and happy to be able to present the uh, finalists for the uh, Farhang Short Film Festival here. This year, uh, we're actually uh, presenting some of the awards here at the theater to the filmmakers, and it's been really great to see them receiving the awards, the video messages, and the in-person uh, thank yous. It's been really great, and I know the audience has been really happy to see those films too. They're really phenomenal work. So I hope to see those filmmakers back at the festival with their feature films. Really fun. <laughs> چند تا آدم بیفتن خونه تو تیکه تیکه شون کردن چی کار میکردی؟ سیدی شاوز لباستتون رو در بیارین تو خونه نداری؟ زن و چی چی؟ congratulate once again all the filmmakers who participated in the Farhang Foundation Short Film Festival and uh, you can watch all the winning films now on farhangfilmfest.org. I thank Paul Malcolm and the entire team at the UCLA Film and Television Archive for this year's beautiful uh, festival and I thank all the audience members who joined us at every sold out uh, film screening and we look forward to coming back next year. Thank you.